the Gospel Reflection of the Day brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mombani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul. Welcome to Wednesday of Christmas Tide, the 27th day in the month of December 2023. Once again, Happy Christmas, and we celebrate the Feast of St. John. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 20, verse 1 and verse 2 to 8. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw, and believed. The Gospel of the Lord Dear friend in Christ Jesus, in the Gospel of today, we encounter a moment that transcends the pages of Scripture and reaches into the depths of human experience. You know why? This simple yet profound account sets the stage for a narrative that echoes through the corridors of time, beckoning us to ponder the mysteries of faith and the resilience of hope. In those early moments, as darkness clung to the world, Mary Magdalene's journey to the tomb mirrors the human quest for meaning in the midst of life's shadows. Her discovery of the rolled away stone symbolizes that power of divine intervention, inviting us to reflect on the ways in which the obstacles we perceive as insurmountable can be moved aside by a force beyond our comprehension. Yes, as the narrative continues, we witness the unfolding drama of Mary Magdalene sharing her discovery with Simon Peter and the other disciple whom Jesus loved. By the way, dear friend, are you wondering why we have this narrative that is usually heard during the Easter time? It is because Christ is just born a few days ago, and we are called to be heralds of this good news to all people. Christ is born. What does that mean? He must be born, and we must proclaim him. This baby Jesus comes to give us new life. He brings us new hope. He invigorates us to be living witnesses of the mercy of God to each one of us. So the agency and excitement in her words capture the essence of a truth that surpasses all understanding. Peter and the other disciple rush to the tomb, and there, in the stillness of the morning, they find the burial clothes neatly folded, a silent testimony to the reality of resurrection. This moment transcends mere historical record, because it becomes a timeless symbol of the victory of life over death, love over despair. Loving friend, we have every reason to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have every reason to tell the whole world of the person who has been born and his significance in our Christian vocation. So in contemplating this passage, we are drawn into the sacred mystery of Easter, challenged by 
this whole experience, to embrace the transformative power of hope, and reminded that even in our darkest hours, the dawn of a new beginning is possible. So how do we perceive these dark moments of our life? Do we have this positive understanding of the dark nights of the soul? Or are we so negative-minded that we take every um, drawback as something to shake us and we break down and we are not able to rise and wake up and walk again? And so we pray. Lord Jesus Christ, like the disciples, we believe that life does not end in the tomb. May our own emptiness lead us to the fullness of life in Christ. Enable us to discover the importance of this nameless disciple who could be you or I in Christ Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today as brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul.